Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be dealing with the Toyota Yaris. This particular model is 2003. This is uh, 1.3 VVTi. Uh, we've got the engine management light uh, on the dash. So when we did the diagnostic uh, test on it, uh, we got the oxygen sensor heater bank 1, which is uh, P0135 code number. And then uh, the second thing we've got on this car is uh, camshaft position sensor circuit range uh, performance problem bank one that code is uh, p1346 uh, there's a history there so two bottom two are the histories and the current codes are so the current codes are p0135 and p1346 so the vvti sensor cam position sensor circuit range performance uh, is uh, the one we are dealing with today so the camshaft position sensor is just uh, situated here this one here and uh, it's uh, skewed by one uh, 10 mil bolt so that's what we're gonna be changing here is the new camshaft position sensor which we got from ebay Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the bolt first. That's the bolt out of the way. We're just going to... gonna wiggle it out right so what we're gonna do is uh, with the flathead uh, screwdriver I'm gonna try to push it out there we go so that's the camshaft position sensor out of the engine block so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the connector here. So we're going to slide in the flathead screwdriver under here. There you go. So that's the old uh, camshaft position sensor out of the way. Right, here comes the new sensor. It cost us £33 from eBay. It's a like for like sensor. So the first thing is first. So we're gonna connect the harness connector first. There we go. Here they click with the oily hands. Just gonna prime the o-ring that's good enough and then we're just gonna slide it all the way in in here like this right so we have placed in the position sensor pushed it all the way in so we're gonna use a new bolt gonna drive it in right here we go friends we have fitted the new camshaft position sensor on this Toyota Yaris so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, go back onto the diagnostic uh, tool and then uh, we're gonna do another scan and uh, hopefully this time uh, 
is going to There we go friends, uh, so what we've done is uh, we've done a reset on uh, the ECU and uh, it has uh, cleared all the forts, so just going to do another smart scan. There we go friends, job done. Thank you very much for watching the video.